Today I will show you how to make this data glitch effect. Yo, it's Povikas here and let's begin. Alright, so here I have some clips from Ken Carson Go music video. And now we can just start by making a new adjustment layer by pressing Ctrl Alt Y. And we can cut it up a bit by pressing Ctrl Shift D and delete that. Press Ctrl Shift D, delete that. I'm gonna leave it to like five frames, I guess. I'm just gonna show you for transitions, but this works for not transitions or anything. It's just a really nice effect for transitions. And now we can just start adding effects. So the first effect we're going to add is Glitchify. Now, this is a plugin, but it's not the main effect of this effect, but it's kind of important. And I actually just don't change anything here, uh, but you can change a lot. Like, you can make the glitch amount even stronger, and it's going to have more glitches. Uh, but let's just not change it. There's a lot of things you can change, but I'm just not going to change it. But it basically just does this cool glitch effect. And the most important effect we need to add here is UD.glitch. Now, this is from the Universe plugin, and you should really have this plugin. Now, I like to make the compression 30 so we can see a bit more. And I like to make the glitch frequency a bit lower to 77. The glitch speed I like to make a bit higher to 34.1 maybe. Let's make it. Now let's open up the small glitch settings. And here I like to set the SG blending mode to none. I also recommend changing the random seed to something different. I'm gonna change it to 8309. Yeah, you can just mess around a lot like until you get a nice uh, seed. That just basically randomizes the effect. And now let's add hue saturation to desaturate the clip. Here I like to make the master saturation to minus 82. It's almost like black and white, this effect. And now let's add exposure because as you can see, it's a bit too dark. And I'm gonna make the exposure to 1.48. And now let's add S hot spots to make the spots a bit darker now let's not make it that dark we need to make the as hot spots kind of low like the threshold to 0.1 and we actually have the effect now it's going to be randomized a lot so for me it's going to look like this on this frame for you it will probably look different i don't know it's not going to be the same all the time but this is the general idea of this effect and yeah you can use this as a transition as you can see that's really cool transition and if you just want to use it wherever you want you can like press ctrl d let's just duplicate it and we can just drag drag it here we can like press ctrl shift d and cut it up like this and you can use it as like a little glitch in some time so you can like have it like glitch like this basically now i would also like to let you know that i have been a video editor for around seven years now and i have a video editing website which is called poikas.com which i basically made to help video editors have crazy visuals such as like ken carson visuals from the opium style or flicker visuals that you can see in a lot of the popular music videos nowadays or just videos just visuals that all work basically on any type of music video or edit. So I would definitely recommend to check out poikas.com because I use those pieces packs in basically every single project that I do and it always makes the projects look way better. But yeah guys, that's about it for the video. If you have any questions then please let me know. But anyways, it was fun. Have a fun and productive day. See ya.